hello and welcome to my channel this is fantastic beasts oh my god hello and welcome to my channel this is dear skipper and today we are going to be talking about fantastic beasts the crimes of grindelwald the crimes of johnny depp i'm really not sure how to pronounce his name correctly but anyway let me just start by saying that i am not the biggest harry potter fan i enjoyed movie one two three and four and then the rest of the movies i really don't care about my favorite one is prisoner of azakband or however you say that i don't care about the books so whatever hidden messages they have, this is just coming from like somebody who is just a casual fan you know who just enjoyed half of the movies and likes the main cast the original cast and just enjoys re-watching the first movies you know time from time to time you know and so last no 2016 i think i believe that's when fantastic beasts and where to find them came out and i was unsure on and it, it was okay you know no problems with it uh that was fine anyway so this one the new one the newest one that just came out like recently fantastic beasts the crimes of grindelwald and it stars eddie redman and a bunch of others johnny depp jude law and you know you know who is in this movie so anyway so this movie <laughs> like this movie i i don't know where to begin and this is just me i can't make a review there's no construction in this review so it's just going to be me talking about everything that happens in the movie and just how it's just i don't understand what was happening throughout so this movie i don't even it begins with like this uh johnny depp's character He's going to be uh, transferred to a new prison or something. And then they use like this host thing in, in the sky. I don't know. But from what I remember back in the day, back in the Harry Potter movies, I think they just like aspirated. Is that the word? Like disappeared, tele teleported from one place to the other easily. So I don't understand why Johnny Depp's character had to be, you know, they had this or oh, this opening scene like in the sky or whatever i guess it was magical or oh, the opening scene is um johnny depp's character being transferred to a new uh prison but surprise surprise he manages turns out it wasn't him in the in the uh, what's it called in the carriage <laughs> i don't remember what it was anymore so it turns out it wasn't him and i think it was one of his followers and then i don't know do you really expect me to be shocked like it was so obvious from the beginning right so anyway johnny depp escapes and then we we what what really happens in this movie like i can barely remember half of the stuff that happened in here but then we have credence right he's at the circus he meets nagini nigini and she's a snake i mean she was voldemort's snake but she's a human being and she's you know she's asian and you know that's the whole that's that's just i don't know why what jk rowling was thinking i mean you want diversity that's fine but just come out and say you know just make something new okay make something new and add that diversity in it don't just because the original Harry Potter movies, it's a white cast. Everybody knows that. And you just deal with it, right? Because she wrote this book, these books back in the day. And, you know, it wasn't that shocking that everybody in her book was white. So her suddenly coming out. And, you know, this is not a debate about J.K. Rowling and her freaking diversity bullshit. Anyway, so we have, like, Lita Lestrange or whatever. And that's, like um they've transformed into black people i guess <laughs> and the whole backstory for the whole thing there with lita and her family is just like oh my god her mom was enslaved you can say or ch chanted to sleep with the dad and that's how she was born and it's just it's just a mess you know it's just a mess and i'm like 
I sat there listening, watching this whole shit, and then I was like, e- is this for real? Like, you want some diversity, but you, you just couldn't make a new plot. <laughs> anyway, so we have Newt, and we have Tina, and I'm just like, I don't care for their relationship. I didn't care for it in the first movie. I don't give a shit, you know? So it's like them arguing back and forth because Newt was apparently engaged to Lita. Um, it's Newt's brother. I can't pronounce his name. Thesis, Thesis, the Newt's other brother, right? Newt's hot other brother. He's the one who is engaged to Lita or whatever. And I guess she loves him because she says it towards the end before she gets killed, right? <laughs> So she gets killed and I'm like, uh, okay, I mean, when she in the, oh my god, when she was, um, uh, what, what, what was happening after Johnny Depp gives his, like, speech or whatever, which was so boring to me, and I was like, what the fuck, people actually follow this guy, like, he's, he has no charisma, okay, he has no charisma, and let me just say this right out, the Fantastic Beasts franchise, or whatever you want to call it, misses. It does not have the charm that the HP series does. I'm just gonna say it. It misses the charm, and it's so grey and boring and long speeches. And they have ones that you know they say some spells in here, but nothing interesting. You know, <sighs> where where was I? Oh. Oh my god it's just like this movie is so long so this run is gonna be long uh what was i saying yeah when the whole speech thing was going down and then like people he sent people away to go spread the word or whatever who fucking cares and then the, he has this whole magic circle around with fire and everyone tries to come past he attacks people and they die who cares right so Queenie, oh my god, Queenie and Jacob in the last movie, I tolerated them, I enjoyed them. Apparently, Jacob remembers everything because it didn't take. <laughs> he didn't forget, I'm, I'm, oh my god, I mean, he didn't forget it. He still remembers everything and that's all fine and dandy, right? But nobody reacts, they just don't give a shit. So if Jacob was not obliviated, is that what it's called? If Jacob, no, obliviated, uh, blah, blah, blah. If Jacob did not forget, which means like there's this big chance that some other people still remember the events that happened in the previous movie. But you know, and who cares, right? Queenie and Jacob are in love in the second, in the first movie. In the second one, she enchanted him with a love spell. So she has him under a love spell, right? And that's terrible. No shit. Like that's a bad thing. But she reacts more, more to him calling her crazy. And she's like, you, you, you call me crazy? I, I don't know what she says, but it's something along the lines of him thinking she's crazy. And her reading his mind. And towards the end, he actually does say to her face when he's trying to stop her from going. The only thing, the thing that really gets her to go to Johnny Depp's side is just that fucking boring ass speech he gave. And it's just, good lord good lord if that was so easy if oh my god and johnny depp's character is not scary right i give zero fucks about the character and it's just like he has contact lenses his hair is stupid he looks stupid and he's him just he's a miscast for me he's so fucking dumb right so and then you have jude law i would have preferred seeing jude law back at the hogwarts school or whatever it's called and him teaching young newt scamander and lita and all those bunch of because the only thing i care about in the harry potter movies actually when i really think about it, is the school process i like the magic because when they were at school it granted you are guaranteed to see some magic the forbidden forest hello those magic you see and then fantastic beasts magical creatures how many creatures do we see here we see the fucking nifflers we see that dragon thingy i don't know what it's called but it you know it looked great on my bad uh video cam that i saw on the internet but it looked great right i think it should have looked more even more fantastic on the big screen but i'm not going to spend money and get stuck with a bunch of anyway okay so credence eh, is with nagini nagini and 
Man, I really, I really don't give a fuck about them. Like, I don't care what's happening with them. Credence died in the previous movie. Why is he here now? Somebody explain to me why he's here. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so Credence turns out to be Dumbledore. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't care because I'm like, okay, maybe because I'm not the biggest HP fan, I must have missed something, right? Like, maybe Dumbledore, I'd be too young to be Dumbledore's brother, but you know what? Johnny Depp's character said so, so I guess, I, I guess it must be true or it must be a lie. Oh, by the way, uh, Dumbledore cannot fight Johnny Depp's character because they have a blood pact, you know, because that's how gay people have sex. But then it's like... <clears throat> They had something going on in the past. I mean, I, I've read a few sources that it was promised that um, they are not going to explicitly explicitly mention it, but Dumbledore and Grindelwald were, were, were a thing in the past, right? And Johnny Depp does mention this by saying, Oh my God, we were more than brothers when some asshole from the ministry comes to arrest him. What happened to that plotline anyway? Did I just forget? But I think he was arrested or something. Or just whatever spells he could cast, they would find out what he... I, don't, I didn't get that part, you know. <sighs> so anyway, we are reaching the finale, right? And then Lita dies. And then while she's going, getting down and fighting with Grindelwald... Johnny Depp, um, Newt and his brother just stand there. I mean, mostly Newt just fucking stands there like he, he doesn't know how a wand works. And you have Theses. <laughs> he's trying, I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but the fire is in the way, right? And then Johnny Depp kills Lita. And then I'm like, oh, wait, what? That, that, that's, that's how she dies. Newt just stands there and then he tries to stop Thesis from going into the fire. I mean, not like he could go into the fire, right? You know, in the next movie, this review is all over the place. And I don't care. I don't take this seriously. And she barely said a fucking word. You know, she barely said it was just greetings, greetings. No, he couldn't still go to him. He doesn't know. He he knows what you are. But good lord, you could have made it work. You know, she was she's a fucking snake, right? And she apparently she was decapitated by Neville Longbottom or whatever he's called. Like, so in the next movie, at least make her speak, give her some fucking personality than just having her beside Credence and them just hanging off each other doing fucking nothing. And now I'm just guessing because, you know, it was all fun and games when I started recording this. And, you know, just give me more Dumbledore. You know, I prefer seeing him and his history, right? To see him from his young age and him being a fucking teacher at Hogwarts and Hogwarts, whatever, at their fucking school of magic, wizardry, <laughs> wizards of Waverly Place. And it, it just... Good Lord, just give me Dumbledore, right? And give him, give me teaching, him teaching the class, right? And it's like him teaching the class will bring more magic because then they have to use magic if they're in the school because apparently, you know, magic is barely used in this movie. I mean, it is when Johnny Depp, hey, oh my God, you know, the last action scene, I expect the action scene. Wow, that's a term I use very loosely. I really hoped like they would use their ones, cast some fucking spells and their uh, freaking uh, abracadabra, <laughs> whoever was standing there. But you know what? And like, does this magic, ha does the magic have any rules? And I think Paris, most people in Paris have seen the shenanigans that went down because I don't think they were in Diagon Alley or whatever it was. It's fucking, I don't think they were anywhere where it's like only wizards. I think it was just a mixture. And when he was having his little speech, I mean, have, you know, everyone was a magician, I guess. Magician. Wow. Everyone was a wizard or a witch. Wow. It's like, wow. I think I've forgotten something. The new flowers, I don't care too much about. Um, maybe I'm just a hater, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, three out of ten. <laughs> three because of the fantastic visuals. 
and nothing else. And maybe Jude Law looks good. So I guess I guess that's that gets a point. So three out of ten still. 